It's nine months. Hope you have a good day. XQCL. Chat, I have to eat my food, okay, chat? So I'm, I'm going to be watching this video, which is probably going to be a little bit more educational, whatever, so we can all watch together and have a nice, good time. And just one can cost... Japanese chef's knives are world-renowned for their unique design and durability. And just one can cost you over $900. That's kind of cool, though. From heating and hammering the metal, to sharpening the knife's edge and polishing the final blade. These are only a few of the skills a Japanese artisan spends a lifetime learning to master. That's just, that just so what makes a lot these of fun. knives so coveted? And why are they so expensive? Yeah, why? Guys, I feel like in another life, I'd love to be like a woodworker slash like a craftsman. Like it sounds like a, such a good fun. Terukazu has no? spent 37 years crafting chef's knives at his family's factory in Echizen. Each one goes through 100 production stages. It's a process that requires over 10 years of practice. Compared to popular European chef's knives, Japanese blades are lighter and sharper, allowing for more precise cuts. On the low end, most Takamura Damn. blades cost a couple hundred dollars, but custom-made pieces can sell for 15 times that. One of the most expensive knives produced by the shop sold for $6,900. These are so good what they do, man. It's insane. How are they so good, dude? The most important thing is to go Takamura Hamono was one of the first knife makers to use a certain kind of stainless steel called high speed powdered steel. It was originally designed for power tools like saws and drills because of its durability and strength. Two qualities Japanese chef's knives are known for today. That looks scuffed. Once the metal is cut, it's heated in an electric oven to harden and strengthen the blade. Then the hammering begins. At this point, the artisan relies on experience and instinct to guide them in producing Dude. a blade of ideal strength and thinness. Hammering leaves behind circular indents something knife makers in the past typically polished away. But 60 years ago, Terukazu's father and his he, colleagues he discovered the benefit of knives with a textured surface like this. まあ、this hammered finish, called tuchime, allowed chefs to chop ingredients quickly and more efficiently. Oh, damn. It also added a beautiful aesthetic to each blade, another element highly valued in Japanese knives. But a Japanese chef's knife wouldn't be nearly as valuable without a supremely sharp edge. An artisan presses the blade against a rough grindstone made of natural rock, a sharpening material you'll only see used in Japan. This step distinguishes an artisan's skill and ultimately sets a knife's final value. 
微妙なあの力とあと音と感覚で研いでいくんですけどもそこは一丁ずつやっぱり違ってくるし砥石の状態も一丁研いだら変わってくるんですね一丁ずつ変わってくる。叩き3年叩きっていうんですねあの作業こっちも手で叩く叩き3年で研ぎはまあ一生まあずっと勉強だと It takes one full day to sharpen the blade and another full day to secure and polish the handle A full day? The final knife is totally unique each with its own distinct balance thickness and design あと包丁ってあの自分の料理人の方がよく言うんですけど自分の手の延長になってほしいでそのためにあのやっぱりそういったあの工夫ですかねやっぱまずバランスがもう自分の,こここの一番包丁の先端にが自分がどこを当てたいか当てたいところにバッと持っていけると。指の先のような扱いができる包丁。Several of the world's best chefs use Takamura's knives, from Rene Redzepi at Noma to Massimo Bottura at Osteria Francescana. I, I don't know the Another、guys. one of those chefs is Masakazu Fuji. He uses Takamura's knives to prepare fish at his restaurant in Fuku. Well, おそらくアーティストのライブでメインのギターがなんだとかっていうふうになっても。サブであったり、まあ、ギターテックがいたりしてやる人間っていうのは演奏する人間っていうのはそれに集中できるでそれを高村さんが今してくれているっていうような感じですねこの切ったところから表面にこう光沢が出てるでこれって切れない包丁でやったら、あのー、全くこういうのは出てこない。でそれをストレスなく切ると、まあ、こういう感じで切ったところから今にももうこう溢れようとするでも止まってるあそれを口の中で歯で噛んだら出るエジーさんは今回のハイクオリティナイフメイキング since blacksmiths began crafting chef's knives here 700 years ago And today, the city is internationally recognized for its cutlery production. But before knives, artisans made swords, another valuable trade in Japanese culture. These are so sharp, dude. These are so sharp, dude. Did you pass your finger on it? You lose your finger, dude. And, and he barely touched it. He just, he just touched it. And the whole finger was fucking dangling off, dude. Weren't always set on becoming master knife makers. ある程度の年代が来て、本当に自分のしょあの、okay. 今まで。I get the point, Chad. Because I'm kind of the Chad. They kind of、uh, drag this video、uh, down, dude. 